Joining me this morning, Jessica with the Red Cross. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me on. And FYI, Jessica is here from California. She is not a Florida resident, but she's been dispatched here um, to help with Irma Recovery. Yeah. So welcome to our, our great state. Thank you. It's an <laughs> honor to be here helping the, the citizens of Florida with now, this relief. Tell us what the Red Cross is doing right now to help people who may still not have power, not f food, kind of picking up their lives. Yeah, it has been a long week for these residents who may have lost everything, may have lost the food in their fridge due to power outages. And right now at the last count, we still have more than 4,000 people in shelters across the state of Florida. So we are still providing that safe, safe lodging, meals, uh, health services for those residents in our shelters. And we're also launching a massive mobile feeding campaign in partnership with groups like Southern Baptist. And we're serving hundreds of thousands of meals out in these communities that have been hit the hardest by the storm. And now if you guys are looking for a Red Cross shelter, redcross.org, mm -hmm. and we were just looking on my phone, it's super simple. You go to the Get Help tab and you can actually find shelters that are close to you and there are still some open in the Tampa Bay area. Absolutely, that or 1-800-RED-CROSS if you want to pick up the phone and call as well. Perfect. We'll do everything we can to help you. And now for those of us who may be fortunate enough to have power and go, oh, I really want to help the people who are struggling right now, what can we do? Right now, financial donations are still the best and quickest way to support our relief efforts. And that's really easy to do. You could do it online at redcross.org, call 1-800-RED-CROSS, or even text the word IRMA to 90999 to make a $10 donation. So that, you know, was just happening a few weeks ago, unfortunately, with Harvey. You could text Harvey, but now you can text IRMA and the money will go towards that. And now a lot of people um, want to make sure their donations are going towards their neighbors who need it. So how can you tell us about where the donations go? And Absolutely. And we really encourage everybody who's considering making a donation to do their research. Visit third party websites like Charity Navigator and look into where are your, do your donor dollars going. With the Red Cross, 91 cents of every dollar that we spend goes to our relief efforts. And if you designate it for Irma Relief, that money will go to Irma Relief. And a lot of people may not realize as well, our workforce is more than 90% led by Red Cross volunteers who are donating their time. And they're here to do their very best. People from all around the nation like myself, here to help these people in need and do everything we can to make sure that they're safe and comfortable. So guys, help is here in Florida. And thank you so much, Jessica, for coming to Florida, for helping us out. We'll put that information on our website, abcactionnews.com. We'll be right back after a quick break.